What's happening guys? Good morning or afternoon or wherever you are slash watching this. Um, so I first want to say uh, these vlogs are my thoughts, my feelings, and um, I'm not trying to uh, tell you what is right because I don't know what is right um, on a lot of these issues and stuff I'm talking about. It's just a way of me getting stuff out. It helps me. And hopefully it helps you kind of maybe think about what's going on in your life. Um, I'm not the funniest guy in the world. Uh, you know, if you hang out with me and stuff, you might laugh or whatever. But I'm not really great at making jokes. So I'm not able to make vlogs and, and you know, try to be a comedian because that's just not who I am. Um, and you know I'm not going to be doing anything to try to get uh, viewers that way. I'm not. I'm not interested in gaining more viewers. I'm more interested in having a good viewership that we're able to talk together, not only on here but on Facebook and on Twitter, and and really you know talk about issues in life. Um, so that's why I wanted to get out there to start off. I'm not trying to say I know everything because I don't. Um, I'm just trying to get along with life the best way I can with you guys and um, talk about some issues that are going on in life and see if we can work them out together. Um, so that's that. Uh, the vlog I had, like I said, if you watched yesterday's, I did a question and answer. And the reason I did that is because I didn't know exactly uh, what I wanted to talk about. Um, I didn't know exactly. I keep looking at my screen. I should probably start looking at you guys. Let's see. Tell me if this is better. Because I'm going to look at the camera this time and not the screen. Because normally I look at the screen. And uh, I don't know which one looks better. So I'm going to look at the camera this one. All right. But um, yesterday I was trying to figure out what to vlog about. Um, and I didn't want to do something rash uh, because a lot of emotions were flowing and stuff. And... So I did a question and answer. I kept it light and just answered a bunch of your guys' questions. Um, today, uh, I've been thinking a lot, and a lot of stuff has actually happened this morning. Literally, um, crazy stuff has happened. Stuff that I would never have imagined to happen um, have already occurred. Um, and so I want to talk about some stuff. And uh, I want to talk about... What I want to talk about is why bad things happen in your life. That's what I want to talk about. And I want to give you my take on why I think bad things happen. Um, and to start off, uh, I think the main thing is the perception. The perception of what is actually bad and, um, and what is something that is put into your life for you to learn from. Um, I've talked to a lot of people. Uh, what has happened to me in the last day, two days or so, has made me connect with people I haven't talked to in a long, long time. Um, it's funny how that happens. It's funny how when everything is good in your life, when everything is working the way it's supposed to, um, you kind of just get into a you know get into this rhythm, um, and you can't really get out of it. You know, you don't. You don't reach out to people that you haven't spoke to in a while. You don't um, think about things that you usually think about. You just stay in this rhythm and, and you don't really grow. Um, and when all of a sudden your whole world gets turned upside down, you start trying to find answers and you, and you start trying to figure out what's going on. And someone that lives this life is someone that is me right now. And, uh, it's, it's someone that's living in the darkness. It's someone that, um, has lost that connection with, with Christ has lost, has lost my faith a little bit. And I've talked to a couple people. One person I talked, I talked to Jim actually, who was a really, really good friend of mine, um, in high school. And we, I don't think we've talked in what, years maybe. And uh, he right now is dating, uh, not dating, sorry. He is married to this girl. And, uh, and they have exactly what I want. They have the marriage that I want, the marriage that I'm looking for. Uh, they both love each other immensely. Um, and they're both really good people. And so it was funny last night, 
his wife was on Facebook and I was talking to some people and her name popped up in the chat and you know I, I, I started asking her questions and stuff and she said you know what you need to talk to you need to talk to Jim and so I talked to him for a long time today and and uh, really got a lot out of it and uh, it's definitely a relationship that I'm looking forward to continuing um, and not losing that because he is a good friend he's very wise and and has a lot of good information but it's funny how I had to get to this point to seek him out um, <clears throat> and uh, one thing that through talking to him one thing that I realized was that you know back when I was following Christ back when I was deep in the word back when I was deep into prayer back when I really had a good grasp on my faith and I was living by it and was I sinning I was still sinning of course we're always going to sin um, but it was it was a life that I was I was immersed in, in his word and and I was talking to Jim and I was saying you know back then man I felt like if anything happened if anything bad came into my life and happened, um, it wasn't that big of an issue. It it wasn't something that was something where I was like, oh gosh, let me get depressed and not eat for days and let me do this. Like it was never that was that never occurred. A lot of bad things happened uh, during that span. A lot of a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations happened during that span in my life. But because I was so I don't know what the word is. I, I was so immense. In his, I, I don't know what to, how to describe it. But because I had such great faith back then, I knew that he had a plan for me and this was all part of it. Whereas now, this situation has happened and I'm like looking for answers. I'm like saying, why did this happen? Uh, you know, what, what's going on? I'm trying to find, figure it out. Um, instead of understanding and realizing that everything is everything happens for a reason. Everything he he has a great plan for me that I may not know yet, um, but I don't want to know it yet. You know, there, there's no reason for me to jump and skip a couple chapters in my life. I want to go down the road that he has drawn for me, and. Um, it was it was kind of crazy to start thinking about that because I really I, I'm really I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to be as strong as I can right now and I'm trying to move forward and I know the biggest thing in my life right now before anything is getting my faith back and getting that connection back with him because um, for me and this for me personally I know that the further I get away the harder it is for me the harder life gets. Um, the, the t when difficult times come in my life, it's hard for me to get over those times. And I don't want to have that life anymore. So it's a big eye-opening experience. Um, it has been a big eye-opening experience for me today. Um, and you know what? I've tried to do everything I can to figure out what's going on and figure out why this is happening. Um, and now it's, it's come to the, the point where that's not the important thing. The why it's happening is no longer important. It's happened. It, it happened. Now I need to learn from this experience. I need to learn from why, I need to learn what put me in this situation and I, I need to move forward and, and, and try to do better next time. And uh, one thing, one thing uh, Jim told me is, um, I think I po I posted it on my Facebook status. Um, I think it's Romans Romans three five through eight I believe, but basically essentially what it says in it is never go into something knowing that you're going to do something wrong, in hopes that something good comes from it. And th and th and that's exactly what I did. Um, and that's exactly what I did. And it doesn't surprise me the outcome. Um, so that's that's something I, I learned 
you know, I've learned, uh, oh, my computer froze. But that's something I learned within a few hours of this whole ordeal. And it's something I'll take on for the rest of my life. I'll never again go into something knowing in my gut what I'm doing is wrong, but in my head saying it's okay because this or this is going to happen from it and it's going to all be good at the end. Uh, I'll never do it again. So I'm happy for that. Um, so back to the topic, why do bad things happen to us? To be honest, bad things happen to us to wake us up. Uh, sometimes we need, we need a wake up call. Sometimes we need a, what, what are you doing? Um, and your mom can tell you, your best friends can tell you, your girlfriend can tell you, your wife can tell you, all these people in your life can tell you to wake up, but sometimes that's not enough. Uh, and sometimes he throws things into your life that literally you have no, you have no choice but to wake up from. No, no choice. Um, and that's what's happened. And, and it's happened in my life a couple times. And I don't want it to happen anymore. I, I don't want another wake up call. I, I read him loud and clear. I understand what the heck's going on. And I don't need another wake up call. Um, so I really don't think. And, and, and that's the thing. You can take you can you can go the pity route and say, you know, I'm just unlucky. Bad things always happen to me. You can go the route of being depressed afterwards. You can go the route of being hateful and spiteful and saying, why is this stuff happening to me? Blah, blah, and, and be really angry about it. Or you, you can internally, internally look into your, inside yourself and, 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 and find the answer. Um, it wasn't hard. It took me a day and a half of thinking and praying and, and really listening to figure it out and talking to people. Um, that I care about and people that are good people. Um, and so that's where I am now. I, I'm, in a, I'm in a situation that many people could easily be depressed for a very, very long time. And I was depressed. I was very depressed. This morning I woke up and, and saw some things that made me extremely depressed. But that's not the life I want. That's not the life I deserve. Um, so I'm going to do everything I can to start living the life that I deserve. Um, yeah, and it's tough. It's tough. I have to, I have to get back to reading the word. I have to get back to going to church. I have to get back to worshiping. I have to get, get back to hanging out with the right people. I have to get back to having that mindset of every day following him, every day trying to be the best I can be. I have to get back to that life because when I had that, that's when I was the happiest. When I had that, no, nothing, could, nothing could, to, could derail me. Nothing could stop me. No human being could say anything or do anything to me that could hurt me. And... And that's what I want because the last couple of days I, I've let someone in and they messed me up and I don't want that to happen anymore. Uh, I want to be strong and that comes with having good faith. That comes with having a strong faith. So I'm manning up dark horse situations, but I'm manning up. Um, And there was, there was a very, there was a very small part of me that wanted to make this vlog about something else. There was a very small part of me that wanted to give back what that person did to me, you know? And that's why I'm glad I have the friends I have. That's why I'm glad... I'm starting to have to build my faith again because I know that's wrong. I know that will give me nowhere. And I know ultimately that's the wrong thing to do. And so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm not going to do any of it. 
I'm going to take all the hurt. I'm going to take all the pain. I'm going to take all the frustration, all the confusion. I'm going to put it away and I'm going to move on. Um, a lot easier said than done. So for all those people out there that are watching this, which I don't know how many more people are watching this because as soon as I start saying stuff about faith and stuff, I think a lot of people run, which is okay. And I told you, this is my vlog. I told you, that's my Facebook. And I told you, that's my Twitter. Um, and the faith, and my faith is the biggest thing in my life. It's, 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 we were talking, I was talking to Jim about it and he said, and it's true. He said, you know, if, if someone asked me, give me a 30 second synopsis of yourself, you know, what do you want them to know about you? What do you want them to know most about you? Do you want them to know that you throw Frisbees in trash cans? Do they want, do you want them to know that you travel around the world playing ultimate Frisbee? Do you want them to know that you want to have a family and you want to have a lot of kids? Um, what do you want them to know? And we, and, and he talked about it and I agree with him. He said, I want them to know that I have a strong faith and that I believe in Jesus Christ. And that's the most important thing in my life. And it's true. So for those people that are only interested about trick shots, for those people that are only interested about ultimate Frisbee, I have other pages and I promise I won't do anything religiously or faith or anything like that on those pages. Those are everything ultimate, Brody Smith 21. You can, you can like those pages, you can subscribe to those channels and be happy. Um, but this is a part of me and um, now I'm not afraid to talk about it. I'm not afraid of letting you guys in on my beliefs. Um, I think the worst thing we can do is take all our thoughts and feelings and, 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 and put them away. Um, and give people something that you, we think they, they want. Um, I know what you guys want. I, I know what the majority of people want. They want me to throw crazy throws in trash cans. I know that's what they want. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what I want. And and I think at the end of the day, you want you need to do what you want. And uh, I really hope this this if you're still watching, I really hope that again you guys don't do anything that ultimately you don't want to do. You don't do anything that might get you more attention, might get you more viewers, might get you more people to like your fan page, but ultimately is disrespecting yourself or whatever. Um, and uh, so I'm going to end it on that. I'm going to end it on if the person is watching this, um, you know, ultimately all I ever cared about was your happiness and, uh, and I hope you found it. I hope you, I hope you have what you're looking for. Um, because that's all I cared about. And that's all I'm going to say on that. So, uh, tough topic to talk about. Tough, not easy. Um, heartbreak is one of those things that might be one of the hardest things to ask, actually grasp actually get get some knowledge about you know um and it's one of those things that takes a lot of time to repair and stuff and so it's uh painfully obvious that i have a lot of things going on in my life that i need to focus on and and work towards um and so that's what i'm going to do and uh i'm gonna give i'm gonna give the search a break uh, I'm going to be patient on this one and wait for the right girl to come into my life um, and, and not try to go out and find her. Um, and so we'll see what happens. It's a good thing for you guys, though, because that means I'll spend more time on making sick videos. <laughs> so, um, again, if you're still watching this, guys, um, I hope some of the things I said just kind of start making some thoughts go in your head because... I've been blessed to have a lot of people in my life care about me and a lot of people give me a lot of good advice. And uh, 
I might not believe everything they say. I, not, I might not agree with everything they say, but it's always good to have a different perspective. It's always good to have someone say something to you to stir up um, what you're thinking inside. Because again, like I said, man, when I was back deep in my faith, no one could do anything to shake me. No one. And, and that's, and when you're there, you know it. And, and right now I'm not. I, I've let someone come into my life and completely shake up my life and change it. You know, I, I've let people say things to me and change things. Um, and that, that's not what you want. You, you want to be able to be so 100% that no one can affect you. No one can stop you. Um, and that's what I want to get back to. So now I'm rambling. This video is over 20 minutes. Um, so that's all I'm going to say. Uh, just want to say thanks to all my friends. Uh, thanks, Jim, so much for talking with me today. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I'm going out tonight to have dinner with Taylor. Um, looking forward to that. Looking forward to talking to another good friend. Um, Chris, thanks so much, man, again, for talking with me today. The Chins, love you, buddy. Um, so good friends, man. They put you in your place. They tell you exactly how it is. Um, and sometimes you don't want to hear it, but they'll, they'll tell you how it is. And uh, let's, go with, let's go with your heart, guys, on things, you know? Go with your heart on things. All right. I love you all so, so much. Um, I don't mean to offend anyone. I just want to say how it is. I, like I told you guys, I'm always going to be real with you. Um, I'm not going to put up pictures of me skying people. I'm not going to put up videos of me doing crazy stuff and leave it like that and say, that. well, this, this is the only Brody I know. He's super sick at Frisbee. That's all I want to know. I want to give you guys a little more and, and get a little more involved in my life and, and know a little bit more about me. And uh, I've made myself vulnerable, you know? I've put myself out there and I've gotten hurt. Um, but it's only going to make me stronger. And I'm only going to be, able, I'm only going to push through and get, get through this. So um, that's all I'm going to say. So I love all you guys. Um, thank you for everyone that has been praying for me. I appreciate it. And uh, I wish you guys all the best, you know. It's a crazy life. Let's try to get through it together because trying to get through it by yourself isn't going to work. So, love you all. Peace. Man up.